Alright, so, now that you have a good feel for where things are in Netlink Studio, let's create our first workspace. We're going to go through the Workspace Wizard, which is a simple tool to help us set up our workspace. To create a new workspace, just go to File, and then go to New, and then select Workspace Wizard. Workspace Wizard will help create everything that we need for a basic workspace. And click OK. Now the first thing that comes up in the Workspace Wizard is the name. So our workspace is basically everything that's related to our file. You could call this whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it My First Workspace. If you really wanted to go in and add a file description, you can, but you can always go in and add that later, so don't mess with that at this point. Click Next. Alright, so our workspace name is going to be My First Workspace.apw. That's the basic workspace name. And then now we're needing a location. So to find where we're going to put it, just browse and do OK. And if you want to add in a new folder, if you want to create a folder specifically for the files associated with your particular workspace, what you can actually just do is, is do backspace after where you've browsed to, and then type the actual name of the folder you want to create. So I want to create a folder called GS for getting started with Netlinks Studio, which is the name of this course, and that will actually create a folder called getting started with Netlinks Studio. So I'm going to press next. And then it says basically that the path you entered doesn't exist. Do you want to create that folder? Yes, I do. Basically, the identifier is the name of that project within Netlink Studio. So it's not the name of the workspace, it's just the name of this project in Netlink Studio. And you can again call this whatever you want. A good recommendation is to call it My Workspace. And we're going to see where all these identifiers show up in a second. So if you press next, now it's asking what type of system you'd like to associate with the project. You can always add a system later, yes, but we want to go ahead and set everything up right now. Sometimes it'll default to add system later, but you want to be sure you select Netlinks because we are creating a Netlinks system here. So select Netlinks and press Next. Now we want to name our system. Now remember, a system is a particular master in the other AMX devices that go with it. So we want to name our system within our entire workspace. So the system that we are going to create, we are going to call this My System. And press Next. We can go ahead and set a system ID if we wanted to give it a system ID of something other than zero. But we're just going to leave it at zero right now, which is the default for the moment. And then we can go ahead and connect to our master if we wanted to. But we're not going to connect to the master at the moment. We'll go back and do that later. But you could do that now if you'd like to. And then next, it's wanting to know if you want to create a master source code file and what type of file. You can create an empty AXS file. If you already had a master file, if you want to go ahead and add that into the system, you can go ahead and import that now. What we're actually going to do is we're going to create an AXS file using templates. And that's a really the way I recommend you go. Basically, with the point of the template, Netlink Studio goes ahead and adds in all the different sections that you need to have a basic functioning system. So, this helps you go ahead and have all of those different sections set up in your code, so you don't have to go back and add them in later. If you took the other programming courses available, these are sections like Define Device, and all those are the different sections where you go in and define all your different defining sections in your code. It sets all that stuff up for you. So we're going to press Next, and uh, which template do we want to use? We don't want an Access template, we want a Netlinks template because we are using Netlinks code. Once so you press Next, now it's the name of your program. Now the program, that's the name of this file that we're going to create. And so we're going to name this My First Program, and press Next. Where do I want to stick my My First Program .axs file? It defaults to wherever you put your workspace code, which is probably where you want to leave it, so don't even really touch that. Just press Next, and it says, Congratulations, you have now completed the workspace wizard. You've basically gone ahead and created your first workspace, and we'll press Finish. And there we go. We have myfirstprogram.axs. If we go over here, you can see my workspace is the name of our workspace inside of the myfirstworkspace file. 
and then we can see my first program, which is the source file inside of my workspace. So there you go, you've created your first workspace within Netlink Studio and we have our program name and all of our defining keywords already set up and we are ready to go ahead and create our code.